Hey Siri, play some sad music. I used to wear an iPod Nano on my wrist years before the Apple Watch existed. I liked it because I could listen to music on it and I could also listen to radio. Apple Watch's latest music update does add the ability to finally stream music via LTE or Wi-Fi, and it also has radio. There's a new radio app that exists in addition to the music app. So basically, the store's music, but it's also a little streaming Siri-activated music player. This is how it works. Apple Music on Apple Watch actually operates independently from the iPhone Apple Music app. So already, if you're gonna be using it before the update, it shows downloaded playlists and albums and songs that you put on there. But the new update also allows you to browse your entire music catalog that's in your iCloud Music Library. And if you're an Apple Music subscriber, you can also access the rest of the music in the catalog. But to do that, you're going to have to use Siri. Play the Tron soundtrack. Siri is the way that you handle any additional requests on the Apple Watch, asking for a particular artist or a song or a genre. Play something I like. Or anything that you can also do with Siri on the phone, but here, there's no way to type requests. You're either gonna have to use Siri or you're gonna have to go back to your phone. Now for browsing music or for other suggested music, there's the new radio app, which is where you can find Beats One and a lot of Apple's other streaming music stations that basically act like curated playlists. And there are a couple of radio stations as well. There's ESPN, there's NPR, and there's CBS News. Now, if you wanna be able to download stuff, you can't. This is only for streaming. You're gonna to have to go to your phone later and plug in your Apple Watch and charge if you wanna sync things. One shortcut is that you'd use these stations kinda of like curated playlists. When you listen to them, if there's something that you like, you can hit star, or if you wanna to add to your playlist, you can hit the plus sign. You are gonna to have to get used to juggling two different music apps on the Apple Watch, which was a little bit strange. If you're trying to request playlists, they show up in the radio app but if you're gonna be listening to music in your own collection, it shows up in the music app. And you're now gonna need two shortcuts to your music apps on your Apple Watch, one for music and one for radio, which means one less shortcut for something like weather. Even though there are quirks, it actually worked better than I expected. Now, Apple hasn't made any specific claims on streaming music and battery life on the Apple Watch, but I played music off and on via streaming for about a full day, and I needed to recharge by dinner. The new Apple Watch update with music streaming should be hitting soon. It's a good step forward, but you're gonna have to be patient and you're gonna have to use Siri. Play my music.